What up everyone, this is Brian Rocamontes, also known as Teleco760. Follow me on Instagram, Mixer channel, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, what up YouTube, what up everyone, whoever's watching this, welcome to my channel. Okay, this video is going to be about dumbbells. Um, I'm going to just show you guys quickly, before I actually start working out um, on my own, some, some workouts you can do with the dumbbells. And again, I'm just going to show you guys, I'm not going to do the whole full workout or whatever, because I like listening to rock music and or watching Dragon Ball Z or some anime while I'm working out. So I'm... I like multitasking basically. So, all right, I got dumbbells under here. They're 25 pound dumbbells. Uh, depending on what is comfortable for you, get the weight that's most comfortable for you uh, that you can either, uh, I suggest maybe one of each, one dumbbell of each, one of your max weight currently, and one that's slightly lower so, you, um, so that when you're doing the workouts, you could like do it no problem. One of them would be like strength training, and then the other one you can use just for like doing lots of reps. And uh, again, be careful with these dumbbells. They're free weights, so you don't want to drop them on your feet or whatever. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna show you how to set it down. All right, so first off, make sure your legs are shoulder width apart so you have some sort of balance. Don't have them connected together. And the wider they are, the more balance you have, but you don't have to be this ridiculous. Shoulder width apart is good enough. All right, so when you guys are putting it down, squat. If you guys know how to squat, hopefully you do. Look at my other video. You guys don't know how to squat. But basically, you're gonna squat down and then you're kind of gonna lean a little bit forward just enough so you could set these on the ground softly, okay? Softly, don't bang them, don't let them go from here, all right? And then uh, let it go, and then go straight back up, like, just like you're doing a squat. So, same thing. All right, I'm going to sit on the floor, all right, and then I'm going to go up, all right? So, once it's on the ground, release your hands and just go up, like a regular squat, all right? If you're working out at home, I doubt you want to crack your cement or carpet your wooden tile or your, your floor, basically. You don't want to, like, mess everything up, anyways, or your feet, in case you miss, or you can't dodge quickly enough. Uh, anyways, uh, arm curls. I'm going to show you guys arm curls. Have these, um, when you pick them up, you have them on your side. All you have to do, the starting position is right here. All right, so all you're gonna do is twist it like that, right in front of you. You could kind of like one end, uh, kind of like hang it on your thigh, just to rest right before uh, you guys start your arm curl workouts. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna set this down real quick. What you're gonna do is keep your elbow and this portion of your arm, all right? This whole portion of your arm tight to your body, all right? And try to keep it there when, while you're lifting it, all right? So you're gonna lift it, keep your, your arms there. If you guys are not comfortable with it, do it one at a time and hold your arm close to your body and then raise it all right at least parallel okay at least parallel but you're not going to count it until you can go as far as you can until you reach chest level height all right so your chest level and be careful not to hit your chin all right the dumbbell the ends of it are back and if you're not careful you can hit yourself on your chin so be careful uh the slower you do it it doesn't matter um it's not a bad thing if you go slow it's just uh more of a I, I want to say aerobic exercise. It's like doing the plank. Instead of doing push-ups and holding yourself at a position instead of doing push-ups, it's like that. You're not doing any reps. You're just like holding it. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called aerobic exercise or whatever. But it does warm up your muscles and it does uh, like a... Uh, what's it called? It does work it out. But it just depends on what kind of workout you guys want to do. So you guys could do it at an all right pace or the slower you do it, the more difficult it is. So if you're going to do it slow, do uh, less reps. If you're going to do it like... I, I, I would suggest not doing it as fast as you can. Do it at some sort of like kind of slow, medium freaking speed, okay, kind of like that, like up, down, up, down, all right, but anyway, for this video, I'm going to be speeding it up, because one, I talk slow, two, uh, it's just better, faster, and that way you guys get that information quick, quicker, if it's too fast for you, then you can slow it down with YouTube's uh, speed freaking option thing, on the bottom, go to settings, put the speed down, like halfway or whatever, you can speed it up too, if it's too slow, anyways, um, so that's arm curls, and I'm going to show you how to do it with one, all right, so keep your arm close to your body, and you lift it up, chest high. All right, and then you slowly release it, keeping this portion tight to your body, and back down, all right? And then back up, and you do that repeatedly, about, I would say, 10 pounds, uh, 10 pounds, 10 uh, reps, which reps are like how many times in each set, and a set is like how many times, like, let's say I wanna do 10 reps, so I'm gonna go like this, 10 times, all right? And then once I finish that first group of 10, that's one set, and then you could do multiple sets of the same uh, style or number of reps. It all depends on you guys and how you guys wanna. It's all, it's versatile, so you guys can, uh, do whatever you guys want but that's arm curls and um, some other ones I'm just gonna show you how to do them uh, if if and because I know that I don't know the names for them uh, because I just focus on working out nowadays instead of like teaching it someone has a name for it or a different name for them so I'm just gonna show you the movement and how to do them all right so again I'm gonna rest up a bit all right so those are arm curls all right you could also do it the opposite way with your palms down uh, and except for this one I'm not gonna be able to do it with 25 pounds because um, right now since I'm like out of shape and I'm not used to the weight I can't do it with those weights. I'm probably gonna need like 10 pounds or 15 pounds or whatever. But basically you're gonna hold them, all right, in front of you, kind of like 
at that same starting position, just switch your palms facing outwards away from your body. So what you're gonna do is lift it straight up, like that, Frankenstein it, right? So it's gonna be straight in front of you and you guys are gonna put it back down, starting position. And then that one, you guys could do 10 or whatever um, of your max weight that you could do it or do lower weight and then just do a lot of reps just to uh, tone your body out. But uh, me, I like to uh, strengthen, uh, it's kind of like strength training. The higher weight you do it, and the more that you increase it, strength training. But you guys, if you guys want to tone out or whatever, it, it's the same thing. It's just whatever weight is most comfortable for you guys. But that's another workout. So uh, just so you guys can see, I'm not going to be able to do it. I already know. I can already feel these things being a little bit too heavy. So you're just going to lift it up straight in front of you without moving your body, which I just did. So I know if I move a lot, then I'm going to have to go down in weight. So something that weighs less than 25 pounds. But that's how it's going to look like. All right. This is how it looks like and back down, all right? So there's arm curls and there's those, and uh, let's see what else. All right, there's uh, all these, there's machines. When you go to the gym, you can do basically the same, uh, work out the same muscles using dumbbells. It's just because it's free weight, it's uh, more dangerous because you have to control it. There's no machine helping you, like make sure it doesn't hurt you, like really hurt you or injure you. But free weights is natural because these machines or whatever, they're man-made, right? But if you think about it, dumbbells or whatever you're picking up, you could use as weight. So you could pick up a chair and do freaking arm curls with the chair. It's just, if it's heavy for you, if it's not, it's whatever. You could do, you can pick up whatever. I'm gonna use a pillow, just for an example. All right, just remember the fundamentals of weight lifting is that you're lifting an object, all right? And it all depends on the weight of what you're lifting. So, doesn't matter what you're freaking holding. This is a pillow, so it's the same thing, all right? I'm keeping my arms tight to my body and I'm doing arm curls, all right? Arm curls. Actually, I should be probably using the pillow <laughs> as an example, just to show you guys instead of using the dumbbells since I'm a workout. And I'm not gonna count these as my workout. But anyways, uh, there is these, all right? So uh, when I'm doing this dumbbell workout, I like to get one that's extremely heavier than this one and then grab it with two hands, all right? So I grab it, the dumbbell like this, like Thor's freaking hammer. And like I grab with my other hand as high up and connecting with my other arm. Since I can't do a fist, what I do is as many fingers as I can, I press down and the rest of them, I just grab the whole bottom, um, this fat portion, whatever. And then what I do, all right, it's not like the shake weight. I'm not about to do the shake weight, even though you could do that. But no, you're gonna put it, lift it up above your head and behind you, all right? Well, this much, hopefully you guys can see. So it's gonna be behind your head, all right? Behind your head. And all you're gonna do is lift it straight up. So if you're working out with a dumbbell or whatever heavy object, whatever, just make sure you have a good grip on it and you feel safe doing it, all right? All I'm gonna do with the dumbbell is just lift it up right there. You see that? See how the dumbbell is like parallel to the ground and then back, all right? That's all you do. All right, now, when you do this, you're gonna be feeling it, this portion right here. So when you're doing arm curls or working out your biceps, if I mess up the anatomy or the muscle group, my bad, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm just showing you guys. It works out this portion right here, okay? And these, like the almost shake weight, but not shake weight, freaking doing these, works out this portion down here, all right? So you get both, make sure you guys get all the sides of your arms, your biceps and the triceps. I believe they're triceps. Anyways, that's, Two, actually, I showed you three, the little Frankenstein ones. Those actually work out uh, more of your, your shoulders and your uh, the top portion of this arm when you're doing it. You can do it without weight, and eventually you'll feel it. So you're kind of working. Let me, let me try it out. The best way to know what area or region on your body you're working out when you do a workout is by doing it and feeling it out. So I'm going to do this. All right, so I feel like it's working out a little bit on my bicep, all right, up here, but mostly up here towards my shoulders, all right, so this portion. Still my bicep, but also I feel it right here, okay? Uh, another one, they're like the Frankensteins, but instead of freight in front of you, it's sideways, like you're doing penguins or whatever. I don't know what, again, I don't really care what you name it. It's just a workout, all right? You can name it whatever you want. It looks like a freaking penguin trying to fly or whatever uh, with dumbbells. Same thing. Keep it at your side, all right? And you're going to just stretch it out as far as you can. Again, if you can't have arms parallel to the ground, you need to lower the weight until you're able to go all the way up and down, all right? And yes, you could use a heavier weight like this just to get used to Oh, the heavy weight and strengthen up your muscles so they tear uh, right away and then grow and then eventually you could get used to the weight uh, but if you guys have the money or have an object that's like easy enough for you guys to pick up that weight use it and then um, just increase the weight of it little by little as you get more comfortable with it all right so the stronger you get the heavy weight you can pick up yada yada so make sure it's parallel to the ground all right and then you're gonna lower it down all right these work out kind of the same region as this it's, it's different working the inside too as well as the outside. So, all right, I feel like the inside and the outside is working out. Yep, 
inside and outside. Uh, so there's those workouts. What else? What else can I show you guys? You guys can use it like freaking out. Uh, if you guys get lower weights, let's say you guys are practicing MMA or boxing or whatever, you guys could get dumbbells. They're like lighter than this. And yeah, you can practice jabbing and whatever the air, but with weight. Just make sure whatever MMA or freaking uh, fighting style that you're using or whatever, and just make sure you're doing the punches right or whatever. The move, do the maneuver correctly with the weight. The slower the better, and then once you get used to the technique, you could go faster. And while you're working out, that's what I used to do when I was uh, doing MMA or kickboxing or Muay Thai, whatever, but with weights in my hands. That way, my, uh, you guys get what I'm saying. You get a more of a workout and uh, your punches and stuff tend to get faster and stronger uh, in a shorter period of time when you, when you do that. It's just more of a workout. Just adding more, uh, making your workouts or your, or your uh, practice more intense. So there's that, you can do so many things with dumbbells. Uh, more than you can, you can even like use it as a straight bar without having a straight bar. And this is how I do it. Uh, all you do is connect it to the sides, all right? Uh, I, I wanna show you guys on the ground what I do. If you guys don't wanna spend too much money on equipment, you could use these as a straight bar. Like when you're trying to do bench presses, just get a bench press. I don't have one. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it straight on the ground and show you guys. All right, so make sure you guys' weights are across from each other. Get them at the right position. It helps to stand them up like that. Get in between them, make sure they're kind of like, when you lay that flat on the ground, that it's like uh, aligned with your chest. So I'm gonna go down. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna grab the dumbbells. All right. Oh, hopefully you guys can see me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just lift it up in front of me. All right, on my chest. So it's the same thing as if you're doing a bench press, but without being on a bench press. And um, obviously your arms can't go behind you because the ground is gonna stop you. But it's the same thing, you guys can still get that chest workout. And again, depending on the freaking uh, weight that you use, use the one that's most comfortable for you, and you can do the same, all right? You can do the same. And this helps you more with balance and while you're doing the workout. So if most people like and would say free weights is better because it, yeah, it helps you gain control and it does work out more muscle, more muscle groups, like it, it randomizes more as you try to balance it out. And then again, you're still using gravity to help you get that extra weight use gravity it's still gonna do the same thing all right so you can still do bench press workouts with dumbbells you guys don't need to purchase a bench at all but it does help and you can do more things with a bench but also if you have a couch and you guys might want to take off your shoe before you get on the couch but you can work out use this or whatever flat surface like this as a bench technically it is a bench it doesn't need to be a freaking store-bought bench to work out so there we go and then there's so many different workouts you can do with this on the other side. All the ones that you do in the gym or see at the gym, you could do. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, okay, so like if you have a, I'm gonna take off my other shoe. All right, so I'm gonna have it on the outside arm. All right, so you're gonna put your opposite arm that's not holding the weight on the bench or whatever, your couch, whatever you're technically using as a bench. And kind of like, you could do lawn mowers or arm curls that way. It's in a different, it's the same thing, they're arm curls, but your body's positioned differently. Another good thing I reminded myself too, you could do lawn mowers. Lawn mowers, if you guys ever mowed your own lawn, okay, you know that string, when you're pulling it and holding the choke, pull it so you can start the motor, same thing. Except what I do is keep, it's kind of the same as the starting positions for the Frankensteins, but right in front of you, all right? Right in front of you, and not touching your thigh or your uh, private section, area, whatever. Right in front of you, and what you're gonna do is lift it up towards your chest, Again, if you can't do it, use a lower weight. Use something that weighs less, all right? Up, all right, you're picking it up, picking it up, chest height, and then you're gonna do this. Chest, and a little bit more, all right? So you're like you're doing a, trying to start the motor of a freaking lawnmower. You can also do these, and then stop it here, and there's different workouts. You can switch back and forth uh, between different workouts. That's why I'm showing you guys all the workouts, so that uh, when you're working out, you can confuse your muscles more by switching back and forth between different workouts with the dumbbells, okay? so. I think the last ones that I'm gonna show you are these. Okay, so you pick them up, you lift them like this. You lift, get your uh, feet shoulder width apart. Okay, you lift it up. So your arms are like parallel to the ground. All right, this is the starting position, all right? So all you're gonna do is use only your arms, lift it up above your head. That's it, all you do. And while you do that, you're twisting the dumbbell up and you twist it like you're punching the air, like you're punching the air and back, all right? So you do those. One, two, all right? So. You can switch back and forth between all the different types of workouts, especially this one. And which other one did I um, tell you guys you guys could do? You could do it with one dumbbell on each arm, but I like to be safe and make sure I don't drop. 
the weight, but put the dumbbell behind you and lift it up. And lift it up. Lift it up and then down. Arm curls. Arm curls. Back. Different workout. <sighs> Confuse your muscles. And you're back down. You can do those penguins, whatever. And then the Frankensteins. And then you guys will notice you're gonna get extremely exhausted and work out different muscle groups at the same time. Just keep track of how many uh, complete reps you're doing. And if you could mix and match whatever set or workouts you want to do, just keep track. Like, let's say I'm going to do one arm curl, one of each. Okay, so arm curl, uh, lift it up. Let's say, I'm going to call it the spur bomb. Okay, you guys watch Dragon Ball Z, the spur bomb. So, freaking arm curl, spur bomb. Okay, and then freaking, I'm going to say uh, double, double, like a hammer fist or whatever, like Thor, whatever. And then up, down, and then do penguins or whatever. Uh, there's so many different workouts that you could do, all right? Does not matter what the name is, does not matter what the order is, just make sure you guys do a complete rep and keep track of it. Alright, so if you can do one of each, switch back and forth, really confuse your muscles, good, good, good on you. Alright, you guys want to do all arm curls up to 10, and then switch to these, do 10, and then switch to a different one, do 10, and make sure you got 10 of each, and you're done with uh, one cycle, and you do it again. All those sets and reps, do another cycle of it, you can do it that way. Uh, there, it's just whatever's comfortable for you guys. You can switch it back and forth. It's actually better to switch it back and forth so you're not doing the same thing and confuse your muscles. By saying confuse your muscles, it's you're not letting your muscles get used to that one movement. And because the point is you're trying to tear your muscle so that you can use your protein, the protein fat, whatever you use, that, once it tears, it's gonna grow back stronger. And that's what happens when, I'm not gonna explain it way too far into the biology and the science of it, but you guys get what I'm saying. You guys want to tear your muscle in a health, like semi-healthy way, all right, so that when it grows back and you give your body enough rest and protein and all the other stuff so it could grow back stronger. That's how you gain muscle. That's how you convert fat. And you need fat and protein and all the other stuff. You need it to create muscle, all right? All this is extra stored fat or energy that's gonna help me put more muscle throughout my body, all right? Especially this area right here. There's too much of it. Uh, there's so many different other dumbbell freaking stuff you could do. You could do your push-ups and then like with them, do the push-ups, they're on the ground. You know, like the freaking uh, push-up freaking the commercial, the perfect push-up thing. You could do the same thing, it just doesn't twist. So all you could do is like go down and then lift it up like you're doing a freaking lawnmower and you're doing a push-up of the arm, lawnmower, whatever. It's the same thing, you're just getting a workout. Or instead of like pulling it out like that because you guys might hurt yourself, you're at a push-up position, just lift it up to your chest and put it back down. Lift it up to your chest and put it back down, do the push-up like that. There's so many variety of ways you can work out. You guys don't need to buy equipment or too much equipment. All you gotta do is learn to work out. And working out is basically using your muscles, using your body, doing more movement, all right? You could say that this is a workout, all right? Dancing is a workout, all right? Doing that freaking Fortnite crap, I don't know how to do it, kind of a workout, but it's just, is it more of a cardio? Is it more of a building strength or muscle? Is it a toning type of workout? All right, it just all depends. Cardiovascular workout, good for the heart. You guys need cardiovascular workout, so freaking don't, don't freaking, um, it's, it's like leg day, although it looks like I don't do leg day because these things are hard to grow, okay, for me, all right? I got a runner's, uh, long distance runner chicken legs, so it's difficult for me, but I know my legs are strong. I've been in the Marine Corps or whatever. These legs got me through further than bigger buffer guys or whatever, dudes that have hella muscle. Another workout that you guys can do with them, um, hopefully I didn't forget, I'm going to attach it to the video. Anyways, um, like the other workout that I showed you when you guys are lifting it up here, your arms are like parallel to the ground, all right? So another workout that you can do that doesn't really have to, it doesn't revolve around the movement of the dumbbells themselves. So all you do is hold them in place, all right? It helps if you guys want to uh, put one end of the dumbbell on your, your shoulder or right behind your shoulder or whatever, just hold it there and do squats with these so you're adding more weight to your squats. So it's the same thing as if you go to the gym and want to add more weight to your squats, the same thing. Just get heavier dumbbell, make sure you're able to carry it and hold on to it while you're doing the squat and squat, all right? Squat, all right? That's all you do, all right? And um, another thing that doesn't have to do with dumbbells themselves, if you guys wear a heavy backpack or something, or uh, you can purchase them, but you could just use any backpack that you have lying around or whatever and put it on and do push-ups that way. Uh, it's just adding more weight on your body so that when you're doing the push-up, you're lifting more weight than, uh, than yourselves. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, there's like freaking weight vests that you can wear. They're basically vests, and then you put like these heavy blocks in it. You kind of look like you're wearing a freaking, uh, like a C4 bomb or whatever, freaking like in Call of Duty or like movies. You're gonna look weird with it. Just It's one of those weight vests, you put weights in it, and then there's weights in the back or on the side, whatever. You put it on, and you do your squats, and um, it's hard to do the push-ups with them on, but if you have them like something attached to your back, like a backpack, which is what I used to do, you have big backpack, stuff it with heavy materials, zip it up, and then uh, do push-ups that way, or run, jog, like that, um, or just squats with them. I think that's going to be it for my uh, video, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to work out on my own and watch some Dragon Ball Z, but other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Give me a like, a dislike, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Until next time.